Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is a video to show how to solve a problem if you have a Canon camera and brand new operating system Sierra, and for some reason your camera is no longer speaking to your operating system. I just uh, bought a new Mac. I went from Capitan or, the, or whatever it was uh, to Sierra, <clears throat> and my Canon wouldn't transfer. So here's what I had to do. You go to the Canon site, and you find the page, you can type it in for the, the model camera you have. I have an EOS Rebel T5. This is exactly the camera that I have. And it will bring, it brought me to this page. I went drivers and downloads. And on the page, I found the drivers and downloads for my camera. So what I did was, there are one, two, three, four, five, six downloads. Now two of them, uh, one may be redundant. This one is for the Digital Photo Professional, which you, you use if you want to process your pictures. This is the utility you need in order to import your pictures from your camera. This is another version of Digital Photo Professional. I'm not sure what the difference is. I downloaded it anyway. This allows you to, to picture style to edit your, your photos and refine them. This is the updater that you're going to need to update digi Digital pro Photo Professional uh, periodically. And this is the updater for the utility, which is what allows you to import your thing. So these are the ones you want to import. You really just select and download, and you do that th through all six. And that's the first part of how you do it. When you do the download, it'll come onto your desktop, and then you'll see them all lined up here. These are zip files. You're then going to double click it. It'll open up the uh, here, I'll, I'll do one of them. It'll create, and when you double click, it'll create the DMG installer. And then you'll just double click that and install it into your applications file. You double click it, you can see that. Then, then here it is right here. And then when I click this, it'll put it right into the applications file. And you're going to do that six times. And that's how you get the software from Canon into your brand new Mac, and then you will begin to open up these programs to be able to use them, and I, that will be the next part of the series. So that's how you initially get the first stage done to get yourself up and running with your camera. I hope this video has been helpful. Stay with it, stay well, and watch the rest of the series. Take care.